Dear students, in this video we will discuss about a dual converter. Before going deep into the operation of the dual converter, we will discuss about the quadrant of operation of converter. We already studied about semi converter and full converter. Semi converter consists of two Thyristors and two diodes that is controlling over the semi output voltage control over the output voltage in semi converter is partially we can control only two control switches which is present in the semi converter therefore the output voltage is always positive and output current is also always positive therefore with the help of semi converter we can obtain only first quadrant of operation First quadrant of operation, the operation of semiconductor is known as rectification operation. That means the semiconductor gives only rectification operation. That is, output voltage is all, always positive and output current is always positive in the case of a semiconductor. We, if, uh, as we vary the firing angle from 0 to 180 degree, we can obtain only first quadrant operation with the help of the semiconductor. If you employ a full converter the full converter gives both first quadrant operation and second quadrant operation the quadrant of operation we explain the quadrant of operation in output voltage and output current plane of a converter okay if the output voltage and output current is positive the operation is known as rectifier if the output current is positive and output voltage is negative that that type of operation is known as inversion operation here the inverter operation here the output power is negative in second quadrant voltage is positive but current is negative in second quadrant this is second quadrant in second quadrant the voltage is positive but current is output current is negative therefore output power is negative so it is all, this second quadrant is second quadrant operation is also inversion operation this is in the four way direction of inversion operation this is reverse direction of inversion operation in third quadrant operation both the voltage and current are negative therefore output power is positive so it is rectification operation okay this is also reverse rectification operation this is forward rectification operation okay these are the four quadrant of operation the semiconductor gives only rectification operation but with the help of full converter by varying the firing angle from 0 to 180 degree of uh, controlled switches we can vary the average output voltage from positive to negative again we can obtain both positive voltage and negative voltage with the help of a full converter the full converter consists of four control the switches if we vary the firing angle of the control switches from 0 to 90 degree the output voltage is positive and output current is positive thus we can obtain first quadrant of operation okay if we vary the firing angle from 90 to 180 degree firing angle of the control the switches which is present in the full converter from 90 to 180 degree from 90 to 180 degree the output voltage will become positive negative so the output voltage will become negative therefore the power is also negative therefore we can obtain fourth quadrant of operation with the help of a full converter okay if we want uh, both first second third and fourth quadrant fourth quadrant of operation we can employ two full converters back to back if we employ two full converter back to back across the load, we can obtain four quadrant of operation. All the four quadrant of operation. That type of converter is known as dual converter. With the help of a dual converter, we can obtain both first, second, third, and fourth. All the four quadrant of operation with the help of a dual converter a dual converter is nothing but a nothing but two full converter connected in back to back across the load a dual converter consists of two full converter which is connected in back to back across the load two converters are converter one and converter two the two converters are connected across the load 
and the parallel and same supply is given to converter 1 and converter 2 ok if we will if alpha 1 is the firing angle of converter 1 and alpha 2 is the firing angle of converter 2 by varying the firing angle of converter 1 from 0 to 180 degree we can obtain both rectification operation and inversion operation similarly by varying the firing angle of converter 2 from alpha 2 from 0 to 180 degree we can obtain rectification operation and inversion operation ok depending upon depending upon the operation there are two modes modes for a dual converter first mode is known as non-circulating current mode and second mode is known as circulating current mode in non-circulating current mode either converter 1 or converter 2 operate at a time after the operation of converter 1 we will turn on converter 2 or after the complete operation of converter 2 we will turn on converter 1 so there is no circulating current present inside the converter circuit but in the case of circulating current mode we are operating the converter 1 and converter 2 simultaneously we are operating converter 1 and converter 2 simultaneously so so there is an output voltage for a converter 1 and output voltage for converter 2 the, if there is a difference between converter 1 output voltage and converter 2 output voltage there is a circulating current in practical in uh, ideal case we are assuming that there is no circulating current but in practical there is a circulating current in order to reduce the effect of the circulating current in non in circulating current mode of operation we are placing a inductor in series with the output circuit of both converter 1 and converter 2 in order to limit the effect of this circuit, circulating current okay this is the circuit configuration of a non circulating current mode of operation of dual converter a dual converter consists of two fully controlled it consists of two fully controlled converter which is connected in anti parallel across the load this is converter 1 and this is converter 2 the two types of full converters are there single phase full converter and three phase full converter therefore there are two types of dual converter single phase dual converter and three phase dual converter a single phase dual converter consists of two single phase fully controlled converter connected in anti parallel similarly a three phase dual converter consists of two three phase fully controlled fully controlled converter connected in anti parallel across the load ok first one is converter 1 second one is converter 2 in non circulating mode of operation either converter 1 or converter 2 operates ok with non circulating current dual converter only one converter is in operation at a time and it alone carries the entire entire load current only this converter receives the firing pulses from the trigger control the other converter is blocked from conduction ok thus only one converter is in operation at a time whereas the other converter is I did. Suppose converter 1 is in operation. Suppose converter 1 is in operation and is supplying the load current for blocking converter 1 and switching on converter 2. First, firing pulse to converter 1 are immediately removed. Okay. With this load current would decay to zero. When we remove the firing pulse from converter 1, the load current decays to zero. After load current decays to zero, we are giving firing pulse to converter 2 in order to in order to avoid any circulating current. After turn on the converter 2, the current across the load builds up again 
as long as converter 2 is in operation, converter 1 is in idle situation. Okay, then the firing pulse to the converter 1 will be drawn from the converter 1 switches. We can ensure this operation during this changeover from one converter to the other, the load current must decay to zero. After the outgoing converter has stopped conducting, a delay time of 10 to 20 milliseconds is introduced before turning on the incoming converter. This time delay ensures reliable commutation of SCRs in the outgoing converter. If the incoming converter is triggered before the outgoing converter has been com completed turned off, a large circulating current would flow between the two converter. With non-circulating current mode of dual converter, the load current may be continuous or discontinuous. The control circuitry for the dual converter is so designed as to give satisfactory operation during continuous as well as discontinuous load current. Okay. Usually the operation of the non-circulating mode of operation is operation has some delay. Delay because we are providing a time delay of 10 to 20 milliseconds between the operation of converter 1 and converter 2 in order to avoid the effect of circulating current in the non-circulating mode of operation. Okay, non-circulating mode of operation either converter, either converter 1 or converter 2 operates at a time. After the uh, of complete turning of the converter 1 and converter 1, we turn on converter 2. Okay. But in the case of circulating mode of operation of dual converter, circulating mode of dual converter also can also two types. Circulating mode of mode of dual converters are of two types: single phase dual converter and three phase dual converter. In circulating mode of operation, the two converters are operates simultaneously. These two converters operate simultaneously. Okay. Converter 1 and converter 2 operate simultaneously. Therefore, there is an output voltage across the converter 1 which is V01 and there is an output voltage across the converter 2 V02. Then the relationship between converter 1 and converter 2 firing angle is okay. the relationship between converter 1 and converter 2 firing angle is alpha 1 plus alpha 2 is equal to 180 degree. In circulating mode of operation, we are placing an inductor or a reactor in series with the both series with the output of both converter, converter 1 and converter 2, in order to reduce the effect of this circulating current. Okay. Then the output of the converter 1, V01, is equal to V max into cos alpha 1. The output voltage of converter 2 is equal to V max into cos alpha 2. If our uh, dual converter is a single phase pole converter. This V max is equal to 2 Vm by pi. If it is a 3 phase converter, our output voltage is 3 Vml line voltage. Vm line voltage divided by pi. Okay. Then the output voltage is equal to ideal case, these two output voltages are equal. That is V0 is equal to V01 that is equal to minus of V02. We are connecting a fully, con fully controlled converter in and the parallel. Therefore, the relationship between alpha 1 and alpha 2 is alpha 1 plus alpha 2 is equal to 180 degree. If we select alpha 1 is equal to 60 degree, then what is alpha 2? Alpha 2 is equal to 180 minus 60 that is equal to 120 degree. That means at a time, converter 1 acts as a rectifier and converter 2 acts as a inverter. Okay, converter 1 acts as a rectifier and converter 2 act as a inverter or converter if converter 2 act as a rectifier then converter 1 act as a inverter okay according to this relationship okay then there is a circulating current is present in circulating mode of operation this circulating current will circulate to the inverter circuit the effect of the circulating current we can 
प्रोड्यूस इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस सर्कुलेटिंग करंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस रिएक्टर ओके थैंक यू